Hello and welcome to the 2023 Murray Rugby League Carnival. Michael Purcell Memorial up against Mulga Tigers. Donny Johannesson joining you in commentary and also Petro Sivanaseva. Petro, it's almost like we're having a flashback seeing some <laughs> of these uh, players in different colours but they know how to get up here at the pointy end of the carnival. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, you, when you look at both sides, uh, you know, they're the very experienced lineups and uh, de deservedly so, you know, featuring here in the semi final. So uh, this is going to be an absolute cracker uh, as we see the teams now uh, enter onto the field. Um, you know, great conditions, a uh, little bit windy, but uh, nonetheless, it's going to be uh, a wonderful day for, uh, for a great game of footy ahead. And there, uh, Terry. Uh, Abba Bandango is uh, the coach there for the Mulga side, as you can see there with the colours there, uh, the yellow gold colour, and they are representing up there in the Badu Islands and uh, also the Torres Strait. So hopefully you're watching on the uh, QMC app and enjoying uh, seeing them play over the last couple of days because the action from them, the speed from them, players such as like Tristan Butcher, number 25, uh, Petro, keep an eye out from him. He's a rocky boy, plays for Emu Park, and uh, the speed that he's got and how wiry he is, keep an eye out him. 25. Yeah, and I guess it's been a real uh, great feature of their games. Um, you know, the, just the work through the middle, some really good tough carries, but you know, just that, that offloading and, and that, uh, that bit of open play through the middle of the ruck, they've really exposed um, uh, a lot of the teams that they've been up against, so you know, look look for that uh, to feature as part of their, their game plan here today and against uh, a, a very good uh, uh, Mulga team. Michael Purcell Memorial side there in the green. And uh, the, the list is star-studded. And uh, Benny Barber, Wes Conlon, we know what Wes can do. And also uh, we've got other players in there such as Matty Bowen. So that's, that's stacked with talent. <laughs> Just stacked with talent and plenty of speed, no <laughs> doubt. So... Yeah, look to them to feature, but um, yeah, this is the, the, the pointy end of the competition now, and uh, I think for both teams, they've uh, obviously had some great performances here to, to get themselves into a semi-final, and you know, so much to play for, you know, that opportunity uh, to, to get them to a final, and uh, talking of all finals, I'm a bit tired from, from last <laughs> night's uh, <laughs> final uh, game uh, with the Broncos uh, up against the Warriors, that uh, was a wonderful uh, uh, performance by the Bronx and um, you know great to, to see them push on through to the grand final against the mighty Panthers how good was that uh, shot there Wes Conlon hugging uh, Travis Waddell uh, two talented players and uh, they will give their all in this game I am really uh, tossed up about how this will go and who will win because whoever does win will be up against Darkies connection or the Brisbane Blacks but uh, I've seen the games from Mulga, and I've been lucky enough to call the Mulga games and seen uh, the talent, the hands, the speed, especially in the windy conditions. And I've heard from the co-commentators such as the Juro Sands and the Scott Parlays who have been watching the Michael Purcell Memorial side, they were saying that their, their talent is uh, going to match it. Yeah, that's it. And, um, you know, again, we, we can't underestimate that level of experience. You know, when you look at that, that halves combination, in this uh, Michael Purcell team and also too obviously you know you look at the the Mulga side you know look look to uh, you know uh, Brendan Wagala and uh, and Taya Benito you know I think um, they're both quality halves as well but uh, you know this is the thing they want to test themselves up against uh, you know much more experienced uh, uh, opposition um, in their opposition halves in Benny Barber and Wes Conlon so it's going to be a great matchup. Yeah and we're lucky to have on the sideline as well uh, Alex Durante who's uh, probably itching to get back on the field at some stage in her career. But, uh, Alex, how is the conditions at the moment? Yeah, it's beautiful down here right in the middle and there's certainly no itch for me to return after seeing the semi-finals <laughs> of the women's game, Petro and Donny. But blue skies, low wind, we're in for some good footy. Thank you very much. And we'll go to Alex Durante throughout the course of the first and second half, get that insight into the brain trust of both the camps to see what they need to do to come away with the win. And like I said, uh, somebody will be playing either Darkies Connections or Brisbane Blacks, which will be the next game after this and will be exciting as well. But let's get down to the footy business right here now with Mulga. They're already about to get set up and uh, Michael Purcell Memorial in the green. If you just join us on the QMC app and hope your team and your community has still been representing here over the Queensland Murray Carnival. Petro, who do you think is going to win? Uh, yeah, look, it's going to be a tough one, no doubt, to try and pick here because, again, as we spoke, so both, there's some wonderful experience in, in both teams, but I am leaning towards the Mulga side. Uh, I just think that, um, you know, there, there's some, some, some good energy, some good youth there. Uh, 
But then again, as you said, Michael Purcell Memorial, what, what, what a lineup. Yeah, we talk about the spine for Michael Purcell Memorial. If they uh, click, then we'll see plenty of tries as now the kickoff has started here for the 2023 and the Michael Purcell Memorial up against Mulga in the orange colour. So first tackle for the game. And as we mentioned, uh, we'll expect some big things happening from this game. Second run up and uh, not too bad. Getting a little bit of space there. Michael Purcell Memorial. Big hit, a little bit high, I thought, but uh, it's not too bad. Referee said it's okay. They still go up well. Good defence, Mulga. And that's the thing about Mulga. Not only their attack, their defence is good too. And with that flat line of defence coming up as one, they do stop teams such as Michael Purcell Memorial. Little scoot from dummy half. Finally gets up over halfway. It's a good first set. Look for the kick to come in. And there it is. Nice and high. The wind is not as swirling as it has been the last couple of days. Diffused well. Taken well there by Molga. And good pressure. Yeah, good starting set. You know, I think there's some great courage there. Yeah, send a great uh, sign of intent from the Michael Purcell side. So, the Memorial team. So, yeah, again, a good first start. And uh, let's see how uh, our uh, Mulga team can get themselves out of trouble now. Yeah, and one thing we notice uh, for the Mulga side in the games that I've witnessed, witnessed anyway is a little burst like this and the backups, as you can see, uh, the flying uh, number six was coming through there, hopefully to get the loose ball, Benito, but no luck, but he's still sniffing around there at the moment. Mulga still on attack, trying to get away. Scooting from dummy half is what they do, and they do it well. Lost the ball. That's unfortunate for the first time for Nona. Yeah, unfortunate. They yeah, was building some good pressure there, and it was all on the back of big Branko Lee, the big number three there uh, for the Mulga team. And again, you know, that NRL experience was able to, you know, put some good feet just to get on the outside edge and find some good yards. It's not too bad for Mulga being up this end of the field, and uh, let's see if they can hold down Michael Purcell Memorial down here. Tries to get a few more metres there, Branko. Held up. And uh, the other thing I noticed too with the uh, Mulga side, the quick uh, plays that they do and the scoop from dummy half, so watch that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's a little bit different from the Michael Purcell Memorial side and the style that they play. Nevertheless, they'll put some pressure on Mulga. And uh, the ball, uh, well, that's, uh, I thought, a little bit of a rake in there was there. He was a bit unlucky there, Liam Georgetown, who, uh, yeah, I'm still getting used to seeing playing second row. I uh, <laughs> got to play with him alongside. No stranger here. He's, a, he's an absolute hero here at the Dolphins. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's unusual to see him in, in the second row. But uh, it's wonderful to get his experience in all the wonderful games that he played at Q Cup level and NRL. And, yeah, unfortunately, giving a bit of a penalty away here as we see the Michael Purcell team on attack. Yeah, it's seven, eight metres out, and they're doing very well. They scoot to that right hand, left hand side, doesn't know what he's doing, finally gets the ball away. Finds Curry. Curry, well, no good there, and it's back into the hands of Mulga, but uh, Michael Purcell Memorial did put a little bit of pressure on Mulga, but now Mulga diffused the situation. And the other thing about Mulga, you can see the way they're set, they're just bunched there, and they just go run up the run up the run. Yeah, they like to flood the middle there with some big carries. And then obviously, you know, we're talking about, you know, some of that speed that they have out wide. Still running up again now, Mulga. The big men are stepping up. They get more metres, that's what they want. That was good from Shannon. Kick put up, chases, and that's the other thing they do well too. Bundock gets it. Chasing still Bundock, but they got... Yes. Michael Purcell Memorial player down there to make sure that they still have possession. Uh, there's a good chase and good pressure. And they put more pressure on. Mulga really putting it on Michael Purcell Memorial. They need to get out of here, Petro. Yeah, good bit of work there. Was, again, Branko Lee, uh, you know, from, from the marker position, great little play there and puts lots more pressure on uh, the Michael Purcell Memorial side here as they try to find a way out of their own half. It's good from dummy half, few more metres. That's what they need. Mulga defending well. Another early kick put down. Goes well. It's a fine touch. Yes, that was a great kick. Beautiful kick. 
Well, you couldn't write a script for that one. That was perfect. Good setup and pressure as well. Yeah, they really needed that one. I mean, it was a, a beautiful kick, pinpoint accuracy to find this uh, left-hand side touch line. But uh, I tell you what, um, you know, there was a bit of a, a struggle for them to try and get out of their own half. But again, on the back of a, a wonderful kick, um, gives themselves a wonderful opportunity here now on the attack. Michael Purcell Memorial now putting pressure back on Mulga. Running up hard. Good defence. Five metres out. They go to that right attacking side. Through the hands. Still going. Armstrong. Wrapped up. Well, they didn't like that. A little yeah. bit of argy-bargy. Armstrong was underneath that there for Michael Purcell Memorial. Yeah, a bit of unnecessary contact there. Well, we saw last year's uh, uh, grand final. Uh, the, the referee was uh, happy to send people if they did do the wrong thing. As we look at the Nirigili replay, Armstrong falls back a little bit. And that, yeah, there is a little bit late contact there. And I think it was uh, coming from Alda. Yeah, Rakini out of there just with the swinging arm. I saw Benny Barber. I think he, he saw it straight away. He raced in there. But uh, thankfully, both sides um, broke it up. And uh, as we see a penalty here now, uh, with the Michael Purcell Memorial team on the attack. Well, no one got uh, bins for that occasion, so let's hope the ref does uh, control the game and uh, looks after it well. As we see now, they're still on the attack. Michael Purcell Memorial in seven metres out. They've got numbers stacked to this left-hand side. They're only going to number two on their tackle. Back inside passes help and a nice little run there from Lumley. Lumley tries to crawl closer. Still through their hands. Goes out. Finds again Armstrong wrapped up. Mulga defending well, pushed them back to almost 10 metres again through the hands. Good flat defence, cuts down the Michael Purcell Memorial attack. Left side now, they've tried left, they tried right. Let's go straight up the middle. Will that work nearly does. Roberts left hand side. Little grubber put through. Is it too deep? Oh, oh I thought it came off his knee, did it? <laughs> unlucky. Byra, did that touch Byra's knee? I'd like to see that again. Yep, you did. Did, yep. Nice bit of play there from the Mike Purcell, Purcell Memorial side. Benny Barber really directing the traffic left and right and just a little bit too. Yeah. A little bit too heavy. You'd like to sit that back up again, but, uh, yeah, geez, all momentum here with the Mark Bissell Memorial side. Mulga, low kick from underneath the posts. Michael Purcell Memorial, back hard. Jeez, run. Great run. I felt that from up here, Petro. I think big Dan, Dan Shannon that was, yeah. Fantastic carry. Another carry too. Davis, he was busy throughout the early parts of the tournament here at the Murray Rugby League Carnival 2023 as he scoots from dummy half, gets some space. Find some support. About a metre out now, Michael Purcell, Memorial side. Lost ball. Gee, oh. You know, you've got a good, uh, good rap there to the Mulga team. I think defensively, they're just really scrambling really well. I think the Michael Purcell, Memorial side, as you can see, are, are willing to, to really move that ball around. But, you know, Mulga are up to the challenge and some fantastic defence there and good reward for all that effort with uh, a spilled ball and uh, a diffuse situation. Nirigili replay there. No shame to educate. Let's yarn. And 10 minutes have gone. And Petro, I can tell you now, the Mulga side, uh, the games I've seen, they've all already usually put about two tries on in 10 minutes in the uh, other round matches that they've played. That's, uh, so that's good for Michael Purcell Memorial to keep him at that nil at the moment. So good effort and defence like that helps. Quickly try to play the ball quickly. And now Mulga on the attack. Loose ball again. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> getting yeah. in their faces, aren't they, Petro? <laughs> well, big Branko Lee, he's pleading with the ref. <laughs> but uh, all to no avail. I think ref uh, saw for what it was. And, yeah, again, some, some really good pressure defensively from the Mock Basil Memorial side, really getting up in their faces here. As you can see, planning the tackle. Bit of um, work there by, I think, big uh, number 15 there, was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, Leon Wood, you know, and... Uh, it goes to show, you know, the physicality of the game so far. Plenty of good hits, plenty of good contact. And, um, you know, just uh, the number one rule, got to hold on tight to that ball. Advantage back now to Michael Purcell Memorial. 
the green machine on the attack held up well Molga they know how to defend can they keep them out for the set through the hands big run Lumley again 10 meters out numbers stacked to the left are they going to go that way they do but straight towards the post again he decides to have a run Davis Davis knows how to score tries we've seen him score some tries in previous games still holding it up they seem a bit flat Petro just holding the ball up now yeah. Armstrong yeah a bit of confusion there which is uh, unusual but uh, yeah I think they were calling a play but you know we had players in the wrong position side to take the tackle now they go on the attack yet again Mulga defending well pushing them back still keeping them about 10 meters out last what will they do on this last one through the hands kick foot through they needed to do that Barber put it through it's nice and high as oh, he got it yes what a take. high flying Michael Purcell Memorial and kick from Barber put it down to him to put that over <laughs> how good was that I'd love to see the nearer Gilly replay that was a fantastic take and Benny Barber sized up the situation perfectly had a great line of uh, of teammates on 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 this right hand side and a beautifully weighted kick sits it up perfectly what about this take <laughs> that's uh that'll put uh, some of those lines boys out to shame i mean yeah. uh, they see themselves going into the afl grand final i mean this uh, did, didn't look uh, out of place in that match that's for sure look at this wow whoa <laughs> what a take and uh, that was a good, uh, yeah, good try, that one under pressure. Nice and high, safe hands as well. I'm just and trying to get his number there, Donnie. Yeah, I thought it was uh, number three, actually. Well, Ty Davis Roberts, maybe. But, um, yeah, look, a great reward for so some wonderful attack. And it came off the back of some really good defence there. As you see, our uh, try scorer going for conversion. But, um, yeah, I think that that defensive effort, yeah, you saw Branko Lee spill the ball. And from that, they were able to, you know, maintain some really good possession, some really good attack, uh, moving the ball just to this left-hand side. I, I guess they see a bit of a weakness. Unfortunately, fell apart for themselves. But Benny Barber, as I said, see, uh, see, seized up the... Uh, saw a wonderful opportunity there. A wonderfully weighted kick and, uh, again, a, a great try. As we see the Nirigili replay, no shame to educate, let's yarn, thanks to UNSW. Goes high, flies high. Here I thought that might have been, yeah, I'll give him that. Oh, for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Ty Davis Roberts, and he's actually just come back from suspension, mm, so he's mm. obviously very fresh and uh, flying high like that as they have a 6 0 lead. Michael Purcell Memorial over Mulga. And um, I tell you now, too, Petro, the games that I've seen with Mulga, they have never been down in points in the first uh, 10, 15 minutes thereabouts uh, for their round matches. So a bit of a shell shock for them, and uh, especially knowing that they're going to the air, Michael Purcell Memorial with a good kicking boot from West Conlon and also Benny Barber, who, as we see now, the try scorer, and flying out that right-hand attacking side. He's looking for another try, Roberts. Yeah, great bit of play, Ty Davis Roberts. Some good yards, get themselves into deep into uh, mock, uh, Mulga territory here, and uh, good hit. Yeah, good defence there. Where through the hands again, back inside pass, finds Curry. Mulga back on their defensive line. Through the hands, Barber puts the kick over again. Nice chase. Bit of pressure on Mulga, but uh, there's a player taken out too on the way through, but uh, nothing in it, says the referee. Yeah, wonderful take there. That's uh, Trey Fuller in the back, and what a season he's had. Oh, geez, they're driven back here, but uh, again, back to Trey Fuller. Uh, player of the year in the uh, in the Queensland Cup, and um, yeah, wonderful to see him be rewarded for a great season with the Redford Dolphins this year. Yeah, Kelly was involved in that uh, previous tackle, a nice, uh, got in there defensively, putting uh, something on to Mulga. Mulga now. As we mentioned, 6 0 down. Playing the ball. They need to get some points on the board in this first half. Nice kick. Diffused well. Yes, taken well. Armstrong. 
And good work there so far coming from Michael Purcell Memorial. Starting to uh, get a few more metres as the referee falls over. <laughs> Running backwards. Chip put through. Chase as well. Who's it going to be first? Good pressure. Well, he's flying through Armstrong there for Michael Purcell Memorial, but Mulga back on there saw what was going on and he did a, a fantastic job, Benito, to uh, make sure another, no, no more points were added. There it is. Nice chase. Putting them under pressure here too, Petro. Yeah, beautiful bit of play there. That was Braden Trindle there with that beautifully weighted kick there. And I think that combination uh, with, with himself um, and Benny Barber, you, you know, I think they've looking really good in attack. Saw an opportunity there. The, their fullback was up in the line, the Mulga fullback, and uh, you know, it made the most of a, 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 an opportunity. They put the ball through and now sees themselves uh, with a good opportunity in attack. Tolhurst plays the ball to the right-hand side now. Getting some runs there. Shannon. Shannon loses the ball. Back to Mulga. Play it quickly. Yeah, I'm lucky there. Went for the offload. It, hit, it hits his foot. As he's coming, flying through as well. Mulga now on the attack. Good run. Johnson wrapped up. And they stand up too now, the Mulga players. They want to get up to this pointy end. Runs like that will help there from Wap. Well, they played it a bit slowly, but uh, okay now. Little flick out there, finds the players, and it was six, six to go, but the uh, ball goes out. And I wonder how uh, Alex Durante, who's on the sideline, how she's seeing the action so far, 18 minutes in. Are you there, Alex? See, such a low score at 20 minutes in. Usually both of these teams have quite high leaderboards, but as I'm saying that, it looks like they're gearing up Conlon and, of course, the fan favourite, Matty Bowen, to come on soon, so... Obviously, if, if Matty Bowen, I, I have concerns or questions why Petro isn't having a run too. <laughs> uh, he's a lot uh, younger and a lot fitter, I'd say. Yeah, that's a... I noticed she didn't mention me. She just mentioned you, Petro. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Uh, Durante on the sideline there, giving us some insight into that. And it's good to know that the bench is warming up for uh, the Michael Purcell Memorial. And uh, that's Dangerman coming on uh, possibly in the next few minutes or so as uh, Mulga now on the attack. And Wap again goes up hard. They're in a good position at the moment. They haven't been up this end in a while. Sure, good contact. Yeah, Johnson finally wrapped up. Mulga are dangerous from this area. We've seen them score tries in previous games, and they run hard, go closer to the post. Georgetown, that 15 out. We've got a few numbers on the right, but plenty on the left. Let's go that way, they say. But back inside, nice little step there with Dell. Well, Dell crawling on his hands to get a few more metres. Eight metres out going on this left-hand side, but the defence is there and it's going well. Michael Purcell Memorial read that well. Playing quickly now. Scoots, did he bubble that? Oh. I think he did too. Uh, that's unfortunate because they're in a great position, Mulga. Yeah, unfortunate. I think he popped his head up and saw, saw uh, some space there uh, on the outside and then uh, just didn't have his head, uh, the ball uh, in, in his grass and, uh, yeah, just, uh, again, a, a missed opportunity here uh, for the Mulga team. Well, they got let off at that one, uh, but uh, Mulga usually uh, can score from that uh, five, ten metres out as we see the replay in the corner there. Just trying to play it too quick. Yeah, and got through. Nice big oh, deep kick again. Beautiful kick. The kicking game from Michael Purcell Memorial on point. So it's good to see... They are putting the 40-20s in and uh, getting plenty of ground. That's what they need to do. They've got plenty of kickers who can do amazing things. I think that was Trindle again. Number well, 21, Braden Trindle. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's been looking the goods all, all game so far. And, you know, really uh, um, every opportunity they have to, to attack. I mean, uh, he saw the fullback up and uh, a wonderfully weighted kick. Nice run coming here from Michael Purcell Memorial. Lumley again, as we mentioned his name several times before, as a workhorse. Going through the hands back inside. They want to go back in the middle towards the post. Popped the pass, picked up nicely and clean. Still trying to run a few more metres, Davis. Davis is held up. Slowly held up now. Yep, and about to play the ball. A few numbers on this left attacking side. They had a little bit of an overlap, but uh, couldn't get the ball away. And he was wrapped up there well, Trindle. No slow play. 
as well. And that's slowing down the action that they want to see Michael Purcell memorials. They're again, they're going close to the post. The big men are running, but they are being cut down by the Mulga defence. Another short one. Goes out to the right-hand side. Barber gets it out through Armstrong. Still, still going out that way. Have they got the numbers? Ball gone back onto the ground, but Mulga was there. Well, he just had to, happened to be floating around there, uh, Mulga's number five, Pierce, and, uh, who missed the tackle, but the ball was flicked back to him. So good advantage to him, but let's go back now. The ball goes to <laughs> number five, Roberts, for Michael Purcell Memorial. Yeah, geez, that's got a... That's a coach killer, that one. Uh, you know, they, they, they've defensively been really strong there and they scrambled really well to defuse that. As you see, yeah, yeah the ball popped loose there from the Mulga team and, uh, yeah, that's got to hurt. This is a really good contest at the moment. As we mentioned, both teams know how to score and that is a very low scoreboard for anyone who's seen uh, these two teams over the last couple of days at the Queensland Murray Carnival 2023. So great defence from both sides and that little bit of a uh, high ball that uh, got the points on the board for Michael Purcell Memorial, who now are on the attack, attack again, trying to look for some more points on the scoreboard. Five metres out. He wants to play it quickly, but he's not allowed to, Kelly. They go now back to the right-hand side. Closer. They're getting closer to the line. They can smell a try, Michael Purcell Memorial. Little dummy doesn't work. He's wrapped up. Stays in the same place pretty much, Connors. Barber out to this left-hand side. Gets Trindle. Uh, lost ball again. Now, it's a live ball for Mulga. There was clean space, but he was cut down. There was good at defence there by Michael Purcell Memorial. Yeah, Trindle went for the little chip kick in behind the line, but I think if he'd uh, taken the other option, put it through the hands, uh, it could have been a, a try in the corner for the Michael Purcell Memorial side. But again, you know, this Mulga side, they're not laying down here at all. Their defence has been really strong, and here we see a no nice little half break. And that's what they need, those half breaks and uh, the support breaks to, uh, to get the players there. Roberts got the ball away. Big run there now from coming from Mulga. Yes, so. Straight up, straight up. Nice kick put in. A few chases are coming through, but uh, is it cleaned up nicely there? Yes, taken well. Takes it to ground there. Michael Sip, uh, Purcell Memorial. And they're slowly getting back on side too, Michael Purcell Memorial too. Uh, Petro a little bit uh, tired already as, uh, you know, 23 minutes has passed in this first half. Yeah, it's been a really grinding game, hasn't it? Mm. And uh, as we spoke there before about both sides uh, have enjoyed big scores. Uh, this is uh, totally opposite to that. Um, you know, both very willing in attack and, uh, and, and also in defence too. So we're seeing a very close game so far. Using their hands, but the defence comes up well for a Mulga. Mulga under the pump now. Benny Barber gets it away. They're still running, running. Kelly. Kelly's still going. But Kelly, what a run. Good 20, 25 metre run from Kelly. They needed that Michael Purcell Memorial. But uh, quick play would have helped more, but that was pretty slow. And now they're back on side, Mulga. So they pick out the Michael Purcell Memorial attack. And again, this left hand side. Was that a field goal? Yes. Yeah. No one saw that coming, but Barber did. So he wanted to put the ball to boot and got the extra. So 7-0 at the moment, thanks to Benny Barber. Yeah, well, it all started on that great run by Benny Barber. Um, you know, we saw it all throughout his NRL career. All these highlights of just being able to skip to the outside there and, uh, you know, passing on to... <coughs> Brett, <coughs> excuse me, Brett Kelly. And there we go. Look, that's just that class and experience, knowing that they're close to half time, And... Uh, Great, great bit of uh, play there to uh, to give him one point there. Great field goal and uh, yeah, all momentum with the Michael Purcell Memorial side so far. Yeah, and you know that shows me too respect to Mulga because he knows let's try and get as many points as we can, and if I can actually just put one uh, extra point over at uh, half time break, that'll be good. So uh, score now at the moment: Michael Purcell Memorial seven nil over Mulga. Donny Johansson and Petro Sivanasiva. Alex Durante is on the sideline. We'll speak to her when we come back from the break to find out the latest. Australia, we've never been more excited because whenever you see the big red hand at Coles, it means you're getting great value, hands down. Like over 500 down, down prices across the store, down and staying down for three months. Get $10 off your shop when you redeem 2,000 flybys points. And we click and collect straight to your booth. 
If you're down for more value, Australia, there's great value hands down at Coles. As the sun set over the tranquil bay, the pergola was glad to have the jetty to hold. That's deliciously Morton. When you're ready for anything, everything changes. So when they say the real world is uncertain, be ready to create, collaborate, to think like a human, and uncertainty becomes exciting. Be ready. Ready for the real world. All mob who get an annual health check at their participating Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community-controlled health service receive a deadly choice of shirt. Not an easy choice. Yes, it is. Think a Heinz OG. So make a choice. Make a deadly choice. Every Queenslander has the right to good health. And we at Health and Wellbeing Queensland are working really closely with our partners to change things up a bit. Events like the Queensland Murray Carnival are vital when it comes to showing just how important sport is. Not only is it good for your health, but it can help you feel connected. Find this with healthy eating and you get the perfect team. So remember to stay active and eat well and together we can make healthy happen. Did you know vaping exposes you to the same chemicals as smoking durish and even contains unknown substances? So make a deadly choice and stay off the vapes. I'm Mitchell Heritage. I'm a Kugilanji and Grumpel man from the Daintree Rainforest and Stradbroke Island up in Queensland. I started in a branch. I was a school-based training teller there for two years. I think CBA's probably got one of the better Indigenous communities in terms of activity as well as engagement. The way that we deal with Indigenous Australians and bring them into the workforce, give them exposure um, and not make it feel tokenistic, I think is best in class. And welcome back to the Queensland Murray Rugby League Carnival 2023. Michael Purcell Memorial up against Mulga. There's Mulga putting their hands together. And uh, Donnie Johannes joining you with Petro Sivanasiva and outside line Alex Durante. We'll go to her in a second. But Petro, that first one, 7 0, that's a good, good score. It's a, a really tight game here. And uh, as we spoke before, both sides have enjoyed, you know, big scoring matches in the lead up to the semi final, but a real grinding game so far. So, uh, you know, it's, it's the Michael Purcell team just with momentum at the moment. And it's all on the back of that combination between Benny Barber and Braden Trindle, really controlling play, very measured in their kicks, uh, and also too defensive. They've been really strong as well. So it's going to be a big half here. Mulga need to uh, find some momentum here, and uh, it's going to happen here in the second half, that's for sure. Yeah, and we wait for the kickoff. Alex Durante's on the sideline. Any news, Alex? Yeah, had a little bit of an eavesdrop in both camps at half time, so certainly some different messages coming through. But Michael Purcell Memorial team seem a little bit frustrated, I think, that they're taking four or five attempts at the cherry. And then we've got um, the other score, Mulga, um, just looking to capitalise on and keep their discipline going as well. Thank you, Alex Durante on the sideline, and that's great insights into the brain trust of both camps to see what's happening for this second half and how they can attack and defend each other and see if more points come either way. And the winner does play either the Darkies Connection or Brisbane Blacks, which is the next game on your QMC 2023 app. So as we see now, Mulga, if you've just joined us, it's there in the, with the ball, with the uh, gold. And uh, in the green there, uh, Michael Purcell Memorial with the seven points up with the try scorer Ty Davis Roberts, who's come back from suspension. So a bit fresh there. And also the um, uh, field goal there from Benny Barber, uh, number six, to add that just before the halftime break. And yeah, that's interesting comments there by Alex uh, to uh, hear about what's going on with those teams and how they're going to take the second half, Petro. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, Mulga, you know, in terms of ball security, they just need to lock up a bit better. I think there's been opportunities here, as you see, a nice little half break. But, um, yeah, just, uh, again, again, losing possession at crucial times here. So they can sustain some pressure and get themselves back into uh, into this game. Good kick from Benito, and it went up nice and high, but it was taken well by Armstrong. Armstrong now gets tackled Ooh. hard. How good was that? He was running fast, and he got hit hard too. One-on-one, -on -one, that was a great effort there. He got up well too. He wasn't a bit gingerly there, Armstrong. But wow, Petro, this is why you gave the game away. Well, that was that, that was Trey Fuller there, fullback on fullback. So uh, we talked about what a great return. But I tell you, I tell you what, he's met by his opposition fullback, uh, as I pointed out to there before, the player of the year in the in the Q Cup. So uh, very experienced campaign as we see a good kick. And here's Trey Fuller regathering the ball deep in territory. 
And uh, good hands to come out, back out this way. And a good chase, too, there from Michael Purcell Memorial. They need to keep him down, Mulga down this end, if they have any chances and hope for a cop up ball. But uh, good defense and good attack coming there again from Mulga. Nice run. A good defense there, too, from Shannon as they keep going. They're going hard. Mulga. Mulga want to put some points on the board early in the second half. This is very unusual for them to not have any points on the board going by their previous games and the talent that's out there on the field. So expect something to happen hopefully very soon for them and for their fans who are watching on the QMC app. Nice high kick again. Good chase and good defuse. Armstrong yet again on the spot. Yeah, what a player Armstrong. He's, uh, every time he's uh, had an opportunity with the ball, uh, he's really hard to bring down and, uh, again, uh, covers the ground really well there and a great take. You know, it, it's only a few minutes in the second half, Petro, but kicks are coming mm -hmm. at the moment. So they are putting pressure on them and, and on Michael Purcell Memorial, the Mulga side. So they are trying something different in the second half. Down by seven points. Good scoot. Almost gets through, and he does get through. He's still going, Connors. Connors finally wrapped up. Great run, great tackle. He had the speed, the smallest of gaps. Goes out that side there, and there's Conlon. Oh. Oh. Jeez, that's a wow. heartbreaker, that one. They had numbers there, too, <laughs> down on that left-hand side, the Michael Purcell Memorial side, on the attack, and had plenty of good numbers, but uh, just the, I think it's this pass from dummy half. Yeah. yeah, Wes Conlon was eager to go, and uh, yeah, that ball floats <laughs> forward. The ref and the touch judge call it. Yeah, and Conlon would be uh, not happy about that as well. We uh, talk about forward passes. There was a little one there, the Broncos uh, <laughs> Warriors game last night. What do you reckon? A little forward pass there? Oh, yeah, I think he threw it into the crowd and they passed <laughs> it back out to him. So we, we don't want it. Um, you know, uh, as a former uh, Broncos player, Petra, congratulations. I mean, uh, they deserve to be where they are at the moment. Uh, lucky for the uh, Warriors, but uh, a good game all around. Uh, some might say differently. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I saw bits of the other game uh, on the other part of Brisbane uh, and my team didn't get up there so it was an <laughs> different night for me as uh, we now watch uh, Michael Purcell in the green and Mulga with the ball at the moment uh, they want points and they want points bad they need to get on there very soon to stay in this contest good scoot from dummy half he's wrapped up there Nona they're calling it out this left hand side but they go to the right numbers are stacked Goes through the hands. Nice little pop pass, but he didn't see where he's going. And flicking out there, that's not going to help at all. Their cause to get some points on the board. Yeah, they really need some sustained pressure at the moment. And it's just, again, just uh, really keen to, to move it to that right-hand side. But it really wasn't a play on. Um, and so disappointing there for the Mulder team. Uh, Petro, uh, the, the semi-finals, uh, they're playing a different game, Mulder. Do you think there might be a few nerves still in there, even though it's the second half? Yeah, I think all due respect to Michael Purcell Memorial side, you know, I think uh, it's in defence. They've been really strong and really giving Mulga no opportunities. And, you know, I think, uh, what do we see? Where's Conlon going for a... Nice oh, kick. Oh, beautiful kick. Good kick Touching. and a good chase. And picked up well there. McGavin. McGavin goes in hard. Oh, he felt that. Good defence there, Michael Purcell Memorial. And they're starting to use their subs there too on the, on the sideline, so it's good to see. Yeah, yeah. Where's, where's Conlon coming into this Michael Purcell team? And uh, could be a good move. And, uh, you know, all that experience that he has. And that's great kick again. His hands have been safe and very good and been tested, Armstrong. Good run, good defence. Slowly all getting back on side now, Michael Purcell Memorial. But that's what you want, a fullback with safe hands like that, Petro. Yeah, he's been fantastic and, uh, you know, one of their standout players. And we rem remember last year's grand final, Arab United and uh, Khan with the big boot and uh, putting pressure on everybody. He played in uh, some of the other games in, uh, earlier mm -hmm. for another team, but um, it's great to see the representation from people playing from the Torres Strait to in the teams, all the different teams that are here and uh, of course uh, Mulga representing Badu and all the community up there. So a big hello to everybody up there enjoying the game. Your team is down at the moment but they're not out. We know what they can do. We've seen previous games. 
7-0 down at the moment. Michael Purcell Memorial over Mulga. Little chip over the top. Taken well. They need to do that. Mulga need to be on attack. Still going hard. Nona wrapped up. Yeah, great awareness there from Nona. You know, big forward, you know, pushing back and uh, picked up that little chip kick. Covered it really well. Mulga now. Pop pass. Works almost. They slowly get a few more metres. But the defence, Michael Purcell Memorial, really, really good. Oh, that's forward intercept. Intercept taken. And he's wrapped up. He's not as quick as he used to be, Wes Conlon. <laughs> but he took the intercept and I, he could have been away, but uh, taken down. Now uh, referee finds an infringement. Yeah, geez, unlucky for Mulga on that right-hand side. They had numbers, but again, we talk about that experience uh, from Wes Conlon. He just sat himself right in the middle there, right beautifully intercepted. And uh, yeah, again, uh, for the Mulga team, a missed opportunity. And uh, I think uh, Wes is uh, sharing the duties possibly uh, with Benny Barber in that sense for kicking and so on. And uh, so that's really good to see from that side. As we see now, Mulga, was that a little, you know, thought it looked okay. Uh, but uh, we see them running and running hard now, Mulga. They need to get some points, as we mentioned, right, and huh? a good run like that and uh, beats quite a few, Benito. Uh, hopefully he's okay. I thought he might have been a little bit injured there, but uh, Benito goes well. Another big run. Yeah, big, big Leon Wood. That's, this is what they need. They need some big forwards just to charge this middle up. And that's what they were doing in previous games. Another good run there, Nona. Again, back to basic football. Just run it straight up. Outer. Going out to that right-hand side. Chip put through, but taken well. Not a lot of pressure putting on, on it. The referees pulled him up. Okay. Seen something there, Petro? The penalty or a touch judge come in? A bit of contact was that? Well, advantage back to Mulga. I, I'm a bit uh, yeah, shocked too to see what happened there, but uh, good news for Mulga. That close out, 10 metres out. Can they uh, get some points on the board? Nice hard run. Goes well. Prince. Prince still going close. Standing tackle. A few metres out. They need to play it quickly, and they do. Goes through the hands back inside. Wood. They need just one player to go straight and hard. That'll put the pressure on Michael Purcell Memorial. They're still going up this left hand oh. side. Intercept. Was the pass on? Well, it was taken beautifully. And he saw it was on. And that was Armstrong, I believe. And uh, he, he took the ball and uh, diffused the situation. Yeah, Benita goes for the long pass. I don't think he needed it. I just think he needed to put it through the hands, you know. And, uh, again, disappointing uh, for this Mulga team. Uh, had a wonderful opportunity here in, in, in uh, uh, a rare uh, appearance uh, in the Michael Pessoa Memorial uh, half. But, um, again, you know, just a mistake here. And uh, sees now Michael Pessoa on the attack. Alex Durante's on the sideline. Alex, what, what are you seeing? Yeah, a lot of intensity in both camps, Petro and Juro, but thinking now that a little bit a little bit of a tug of war, Benny Barber's one point kick might actually be what it comes down to. Yeah, I totally agree. And it's Donnie up here, Juro's having a break, so that's all good. <laughs> As I wave to her. And uh, taken well and it's really good at the moment, Mulga. And uh, I totally agree with Alex. Uh, that's, this, that could be just it. Seven points in it, um, as we mentioned. Uh, it's respect, too, with that field goal, as we mentioned earlier, before the halftime break. And uh, Mulga really have been tested. Yeah, again, we talk about that experience from Benny Barber to drop that field goal th through. And um, as you said, it could be the difference. And, you know, just that experience of knowing that this is a tight game and every point counts and uh, uh, could be the telling point that makes the big difference here in, uh, in what has been a great contest so far. And as we see now the restart. Mulga. Big run, big hit. Good defence, of course, from Michael Purcell Memorial. They've been doing it all day. That's why they've kept Mulga to nil. Oh, big hit. He plays the ball now there, Butcher. Still going. Mulga. We're right on the QUT sign. One of the sponsors. Thanks to all our sponsors too. As we see another mistake there. And this is it. You know, we've been talking about, you know, 
the, the what's the strong points of the Mulga game in previous games is just their go forward. And uh, you know, we saw a great carry there, uh, a couple of great carries, and then again, just uh, this loss of possession that's really hurting them at the moment. It's really hard to build any type of momentum uh, and go forward, you know, when uh, they're, they're continually turning the ball over. So I uh, just need to address that. Uh, there's plenty of time still left. And um, if anyone can do it, this Mulga team can do it. Yep, and they're setting there as well. And uh, they've got quite a good-sized bench there too. And um, hopefully they can start using them too. And it um, looks like the um, conditions have changed a little bit there too, Patrick. Or maybe getting a bit cooler out there as well for them. So that's good. Running over the line now. Coming up here for the Michael Waite who's with the Michael Purcell Memorial side. And uh, again, they seem to be slowing it down a little bit, just playing at their speed. And uh, why not? You've got the lead, so Mosley quickly plays it. Again, the scoot from dummy half gets plenty of metres, and that's what they want. Ball goes loose, but picked up well there by the try scorer of Roberts. Roberts. It's, yeah, it's Matty Bowen in the number 17 jer jersey, directing some play here. I didn't recognise him, but yeah, def definitely, and I can see it now as the ball goes up there for Michael Purcell Memorial. About 12 metres out. They're calling left and right. This is the last for them. Which way will they go? Left it is. Still attacking. Little grubber put through, but chases and taken well to keep an eye on that ball there, the Mulga side, and Abaira was on the spot. Yeah, lovely weighted kick there from Michael Purcell Memorial side. Building beautiful pressure here. But, uh, yeah, that inclusion of, uh, of Matty Bowen, it's not bad when you can bring... Uh, uh, one of the legends of rugby league uh, onto the field and uh, you can see the instant impact that he had directing play and uh, again sustaining and building some pressure up here for the Michael Purcell Memorial team. Short kick works well. Works well for the Michael Purcell Memorial side but uh, it was a good effort. Through the hands. Ten metres out. Michael Purcell Memorial to this right-hand side. Back inside. Shannon. Shannon, close. Shannon can sniff the line there. Oh, intercept, but goes back. Play on. Well, it was a good idea straight from the line. You're on the line. You might as well try and go for it, Petro. Yeah, they were short of numbers there, the Mulga team on this left-hand side, and uh, Matty Bowen was looming in the back. They had numbers, so... He attempted the intercept. He had to go for it and he had to make the play, though. That's, a, that's the only thing. So, again, we see the Michael Purcell Memorial side uh, with uh, a great chance here to uh, further their lead. Yes, uh, as you mentioned there, uh, Matty Bowen. Yeah, there he is. He's still looking in good shape and everything like that. So it's good to see uh, people like Matty and uh, a few of the others who played at the highest level come and uh, support and be part of the Murray Rugby League Carnival. So we see now Michael Purcell Memorial. They've got some numbers out that way on the left-hand side. Nothing doing. Let's go back to the right. Through the hands. Looking a bit flat and uh, wondering what to do with the ball at the moment. The Mulga defending well. They need to keep them out. Bowen. Back inside pass. Shannon. He's been good and consistent. Passing out that left-hand side. The grubber gone through. And will he get there? Very oh. close. Good idea. And he was on the spot. Almost Turnbull for a try. Yeah, unlucky for Braden Trindle there. Good idea, but uh, yeah, just a bit too heavy on that grubber. I uh, would love to have sat up because, uh, geez, I tell you what, all momentum at the moment is with this Michael Purcell Memorial side. Well, Mulga, uh, a bit shell-shocked at the moment um, as they uh, run the ball up now and they need to get up the other busy end. Griffins going through their hands, but that's OK. They need to settle down a bit too to try and break the defence there of the Michael Purcell Memorial side. They're just too good. Look at that. People such as Shannon, he knows how to defend and defends well. Getting involved again. A little bit high, but OK. Referee says it's OK. Good. They chip over the top. A few chases. Is the bounce favourable? No. It lands in the hands of Michael Purcell Memorial. But that's a good idea and good option. 
They need to try things, don't they, Petro? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, great idea, and uh, they really tried to flood that uh, little chip kick over the top. But uh, great work there by Michael Wallet from the Michael Purcell Memorial side. Was, uh, was nice and aware of that opportunity and shut it down quickly. It's crawling up over halfway now, Michael Purcell Memorial side. 7-0 over Mulga. Roberts was the try scorer for Michael Purcell Memorial and uh, Benny Barber, that extra one point. I think uh, it was a bit of a shell shock to some people that they were going to get the extra point as they now still go up the field, but uh, lost. And uh, advantage back to Mulga now. Yeah, I think I'll be breathing a sigh of relief there as, uh, as big number 25, John Schultz. Done it up the, uh, the middle there and uh, a little loose carry. Just see some contact in there. Mm, no. <laughs> a little bit of a knee, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go to the sideline and have a chat to Alex Duranti to see how things are going. Yeah, Donny, I can feel the frustration of both sides. It's getting really intense down here with only seven minutes left and they're so evenly matched. It's almost the level of play you'd expect to see at the grand final. And Alex Duranti, seven minutes in Murray Rugby League terms is almost an hour. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's good to see. And um, But they're doing well at the moment. Mulga now, they are on the attack. They need to play their natural game that they have been playing in the other regular matches that we've seen on day one and two. And let's see how they go now. They want to try and play the ball quickly. This is where they've slowed down a bit. They're playing, not playing their natural game there, Petro, where they uh, see the speed and everything usually happens for Molga. Yeah, I think it's on the back of, uh, you know, some great defensive pressure there from the Mike Purcell Memorial side. You know, you know, speed off the line is really shutting them down. Well, kick over the top was not on there, unfortunately, from Byra. Um, I, I get it what he was trying to do, but uh, it definitely wasn't on. Yeah, you can sort of feel that frustration amongst the, the Mulder team at the moment. It's sort all of looking around, you know, what, what was the call on that play? I think they were trying to come de back to this left-hand side. They decided to go short, you know, put a little short kick over the top, but unfortunately it goes out for them. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's Obviously, they have to really try, throw whatever they can at this Michael Purcell team because, uh, again, as we mentioned there before, defensively, they've been really strong. Yeah, and uh, so the winner out of this game, Michael Purcell Memorial and Mulga play Darkies Connection or the Brisbane Blacks. So that game will be coming up next and uh, another cracking game too. But uh, let's see how we go. This one's not over yet, so both teams still looking for points to get into that uh, final that was talking about, the grand final, the big GF. Good ball security there by Michael Purcell Memorial. They've been doing very well. Mulga defending. Getting involved there was Griffiths again. Good hard run. Kennedy. They're still going up again through the middle, aren't they, Petro? They're so, they, they still know what they want to do. Little push and a shove, but uh, okay. Oh, I said a little bit high there, Petra, but all good. This is the last. Let's see how they go now. Michael Purcell Memorial. Bowen puts a little chip over the top. Chases it as well. Oh, good idea. <laughs> He's still got it, and they're trying to push Mulga back. Are they back? Yeah, Matty yeah. Bowen going for a little cheapy, uh, uh, a cheeky uh, little chip kick over the top. A tray fuller was all over it. Mulga now. Good work there from Mulga. Seven nil scoreline. Michael Purcell Memorial. Nice chip over the top. And there's that speed man that we're talking about, Tristan Butcher. Try to get the ball, but unfortunately lands in the hands of Michael Purcell Memorial. And he's been playing well, Roberts. The try scorer plays the ball. The scoot from dummy halves really working for them at the moment and Kennedy for the Michael Purcell Memorial. Gives them those few more metres, doesn't it, Petro? Yeah, it does. And it's great to see those outside backs giving a hand to their forwards oh, as we see. Look at him go. Run. He's going by himself. Is he there? He's got it. Again from dummy half, we're talking about that. And uh, Davis, uh, he's been all over the shop and done well in attack and defence. And right there, individual try, goes next to the post, bang. Yeah, Greg Davis, what a try. I mean... He's been fantastic all game. He's go forward. He's been uh, some great charges. And also to the halves, turning him back on the inside here. But uh, it was a wonderful run. 
there was plenty of traffic to get through there, but just that aggression and uh, and that way he forced himself, the willed himself to the line, and so a great reward for the big man. Yeah, and that was good. And uh, Nirigali replay, no shame to educate. Let's yarn. How about let's score a try? Then there he is, and there goes himself. Unfortunately, the numbers for Mulga, they were there, plenty there, but couldn't stop uh, the speed and power. So uh, a few more points on the board now to make it, well, 11 nil kick to come right in front. Yeah, we've been talking about the impact of their halves. Obviously, Benny Barber, Wes Conlon, Braden Trindle uh, have been really dominant here for this um, Michael Purcell Memorial side. But uh, it's the big man, Greg Davis. Uh, as I said, a great reward for uh, a wonderful effort so far in this game. And, uh, you know, a lot of the momentum for this uh, side has come on the back of his big charges through the middle. So it's always great to see a forward uh, score a, a wonderful four-pointer. Yeah, well-deserved indeed. And uh, he sets up right in front. Should be academic, but uh, let's see. We've seen some kicks uh, because of the wind uh, that close uh, missed. But the wind, con wind conditions are very favourable at the moment as we do see the extras. And it's gone on top of the roof of the Dolphins uh, Leagues Club. I'm sure that someone will find out eventually. <laughs> yeah, we see another great replay. That's five for five, six defenders there he beat. You know, so uh, again, fantastic from the big man. 13-0, Michael Purcell Memorial over Mulga. And uh, Mulga still have some uh, strength in their side to possibly get some points on the board as we see now. Big hard run. And he, that man again, Davis, he wants another try. <laughs> Great run from the big fella. Well, the big fella, you, you expect, oh, let me have a break. But no, he wants to get involved yet again. Keeping him down there. Mulga want to keep Michael Purcell Memorial down this end of the field. Plays the ball. It's a scoot from dummy halves in the uh, first off uh, as well. Uh, people making the meters for Michael Purcell Memorial. And Kennedy is one of those guys who floats around and uh, gets the ball. And uh, this guy too, Lumley. Lumley's been uh, very busy. Yeah, experienced campaigner Tristan Lumley. And it's uh, great, you know, when you look at uh, the experience they've got across the park. And uh, Lumley's uh, definitely a big part of that as well. Nice high kick, taken well. They need to do something here now. But the defence comes up. Bowen's involved in that. And he falls over. But that's OK. Uh, might be getting a bit greasy out there. Conditions uh, will match up to Alex um, Durante uh, very shortly to see what's going on. And um, as they see the ball coming back to Mulga. Puts it downfield. Who's there, of course? That man, Armstrong. He lets it go. Good kick, though. Alex Durante, how are the conditions at the moment? Because we're seeing a few players here starting to slip over. Yeah, it's a little bit wet and the wind has certainly picked up. I'm grateful I've got big bones, otherwise I'd probably <laughs> blow away, Donny. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. And uh, the scoreline, 13-0. Mulga now. They're about to, oh, they wanted to play it quickly. But Mulga want to try and get some points on the board. 10 metres out. Quick tap goes well. Yasso, and there it is. Wow, Petro, I did not see that coming, that the score line would be like this, 13-0, Michael Purcell Memorial over Mulga. Yeah, it was, I guess, a, a fitting for a semi-final. You knew it was going to be a tough and grinding game, but in saying that, um, it was unusual for both teams because in the lead-up, they both uh, have uh, experienced games with big margins, big scores, They've got uh, wonderful attacking ability uh, on both sides. But, uh, yeah, geez, I tell you what, uh, it's, it's that defensive effort from uh, the Michael Purcell Memorial side, as well as scoring points. Um, they show a lot more uh, experience and versatility and being able to uh, withstand uh, everything that Mulga, Mulga threw at them. And uh, disappointing for Mulga. I think, uh, you know, when they look back and revise over this game, there were some missed opportunities, but also, too, probably just that lack of ball control at crucial times uh, really brought them undone. Yeah, leading up to this game, I mean, they, they Mulga, that is, um, the talent all over the park and the speed, it's almost like uh, they didn't play their natural game from uh, the other uh, games that they had. And we might even get Alex Durante to grab somebody, too, very shortly. But uh, give it to Michael Purcell Memorial. As we see the replays, thanks to Niri Gilly, no shame to educate, let's yarn. But uh, Benny Barber putting that kick in. Yeah, it's a wonderfully weighted kick there. And uh, 
uh, the big man Ty Davis Roberts, as he said, was suspended for the previous game, and it was great to get him back. And then again, Benny Barber, uh, knowing uh, what a grinding game it was, the importance of that that field goal just before half time. And uh, of course, the big man Davis, Greg Davis, steps up. One, two, three, four, bang, gets it in right next to the post. So good try. Yeah, he was tremendous all game, and uh, some big charges through the middle. They like to turn him back under uh, into tied defence, but uh, it was that run there again, beating five defenders uh, to score under the post. And uh, I'm wondering if Alex Durante, are you there with anybody? Yeah, I've got Wes Conlon walking towards me. I'll grab him for a quick chat, heading to the big dance, the grand final. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, good, good. Um, it's been a really good carnival. Um, the wind's picked up, you know, and it's consistent over the last three days. But, no, nah, it's a really good carnival, really good turnout again, seeing all the colours, seeing all the mob from all over Queensland. It's such a deadly occasion. There should be two or three of these throughout the year. But, yeah, um, full credit to Mulga and all the other teams, you know, coming out here playing some footy, having some fun, you know, catching up with family. It's, yeah, what can I say? This is the pinnacle of, you know, my highlight highlight throughout the year. So, yeah, it's deadly to be here. And um, full credit to our boys too. Um, put in the hard yards and, yeah, big dance coming up later. So, looking forward to it. Deadly, you certainly mm. know how to talk, don't you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I've been around. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Johnny and Petro. Thank you very much, Alex Durante. Wes Conlon, of course, and uh, no... You always get things out of Wes, and he is going to the big dance, as they said, and he's, he's no stranger to that too, Petro. Yeah, and, and a great reward for, for someone like Wes who gives so much uh, back to the community and everything he does. A wonderful role model. Um, and, uh, you know, to have someone like him with his experience here uh, in this Michael Pursell Memorial side, uh, it just adds to what they can deliver, you know, on game day. And uh, they've, they've definitely brought it today. As we said, uh, it was a, a grinding match and uh, a, gr a great win to the Mock Pursell Memorial side. Thank you, Petro Sivanasiva. Also sideline, Alex Durante, Donny Johannesson signing off and that scoreline, Michael Purcell Memorial 13-0 over Mulga.